ReZero really is a great anime, one of my all-time favorites. But while Season 2 gave me a lot to think about and ponder, it's sadly not finishing for another like month and a half, two months. I don't know ever how long time passes. So, I want more. And yes, I could go read the web novel or light novel, maybe I kind of have already. But I want other anime too that would give me the same type of feel. So I wanted to talk about some anime that I have come across that do feel like ReZero in some way. And shows that I think you should check out, especially if you like ReZero. So, yep, here are five anime like it. Definitely tell me what other things you think I should include because, well, I kind of want to go watch them. Alright, first of all, we have Higurashi. This one really is perfect because there's a sequel slash remake of Higurashi airing right now. And I think I have a new episode I need to go watch. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how it ties into the original, but whatever. That's one of the many, many mysteries of Higurashi. And there's like so many questions raised throughout it. You have mysteries on type of mysteries. Very similar to ReZero in that regard. And then there's also a time loop element similar to ReZero. And some very gruesome character deaths. Also similar to ReZero. I mean, Higurashi is known for how violent it is, and while ReZero definitely has a share of horrific deaths for Subaru, they don't happen quite as often as Higurashi. So far. But despite the violent nature of both shows, they have their more optimistic side to them too, and this aspect really makes Higurashi more than just a horror anime. And the themes of the show just tie it all together so great. A friend of mine has been rewatching Higurashi recently, so I joined for a few episodes. And there is one scene that felt so much like ReZero. I wanted to say something then, but it would spoil it. So, also, I'm not going to say that scene here, but ask in the comments if you want to know. That was really good. And out of all the shows on the list, I think Higurashi is the one most like ReZero, though these others are also similar and special in their own way. So, at Number two, we have Steins Gate. Also, this list is unranked. Okay, I'm going to put a picture on screen, assuming I actually edit this video, that shows the similarity perfectly here. It is Okabe giving Subaru a sort of knowing hug, supporting him knowing what Subaru is facing. Steins Gate is a show about time travel, where Okabe is put in a situation where it seems impossible to save everyone he cares about, but he doesn't give up despite failure after failure after failure, time and again seeing him lose everything. Steinsgate also features a story that's slowly built together across multiple time loops, and a ton of mysteries too. You can tell like mysteries, can't you? But it comes together in an end in such a wonderful way. Okabe is also my favorite main character in all of the anime as well, just like Subaru. Well, Subaru is not quite my all-time favorite. But he's definitely up there. And they even have a somewhat similar personality. So yeah, definitely check out Steins Gate if you like ReZero. The original though, not necessarily Zero, though my thoughts on that are too complicated for a simple video. Moving on then. In the number three, we have Now and Then Here and There. The idea of an isekai getting far darker than you would expect does not start with ReZero. In fact, there have been many others, and one of my favorites is Now and Then, Here and There. It's a show from the 90s that's an emotionally packed story of what happens when a young and ever hopeful boy is thrown into a cruel, cruel world. It's sad, tragic, heartbreaking, but also hopeful. Honestly, that's why I love anime and why all these shows are on this list. I love how hopeful they can be despite everything seeming lost. And yeah, I need to get back to this one and rewatch it, because it's been years since I saw it, and I want to experience that feeling again. Though so I'm not sure if I'm ready for that type of emotional pain. And then for number four, we have Yuki Yuna is a Hero. I actually wasn't quite sure what to put here. I thought about Green Guard because it's another fantasy that gets kind of dark, and it's an isekai. But I haven't talked about Yuki Yuna for a while, and it deserves to be talked about, so why not put it here? Yuki Yuna is a magical girl anime, and specifically one that goes to darker places. The thing I like about it so much is how it shows a naive hero thrown into a world not like they had hoped, but they continue fighting anyway. And then there are a lot of really twisted and sad moments here for the characters, as they fight against something beyond what they could imagine. 
and we see the impacts to them physically, psychologically, emotionally, and on their friendship too, which is kind of beautiful in a way. Yes, fate is cruel for these characters, and that is just like ReZero. And I want to rewatch Yukina and read the light novels. But I guess that's something else that this has in common with ReZero, so yeah, check it out. And for number five, we have Symphogear, because, um, yeah, I honestly have nothing here, but watch Symphogear anyway because it's good. For the real number five, though, we have Fruits Basket, of course. And yes, I am serious here. Really, one of these days, I'm going to make a full video breaking down all the similarities between the shows because there are so many of them. They're both shows about broken people coming together. They're shows about characters learning to love themselves more and learning to accept the love of those around them. They are shows about characters who have been dealt cruel hands by fate, but fighting through that fate as best as they can. They both have main characters who would do anything for those they love. And that is both their greatest strength and their greatest weakness. And they are both shows about love in all its forms, but also show the danger of love when it is twisted. They feature twisted villains, heroes doing their best no matter what it entails. And both of these shows illustrate the power one broken character can have on another to lift them up when all hope seems lost. And they're both two of my favorite anime of all time. So yeah, that's my list. Tell me what you think. What other shows do you think you should be on here? What you thought of the ones I mentioned? Or just leave another comment. I'm curious. And no, I am not just saying that because comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. But if you just want to help me out, comment anyway. I do not mind. So yes, thank you for watching. Sub for more. Like, Twitter, Twitch, all those things that will be in the comments. And I will see you all next time.